What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Guys, today, guys, great video for you, it's budget cards. I know a lot of you guys have been asking what budget cards are good I'm going to say under 10k, yo. We got one right off the bat. To be honest, I didn't look at any cards. We're just going to go over the auction slowly and go over them. As per usual, guys, drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Like the vid, so if you're new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT, make sure to smash that like button as well. And, of course, base tip is lagging a little bit. But, guys, 20,000 comments. Like the vid, so if you're new. Videos got to hit 40 likes to give away that MT. So, yeah, let's get into the budget cards. First one right off the bat. I mean, this card... Okay, listen, listen to me. I have the gameplay. If you want to check him out, check him out. He's a beast on defense. This card is going to clamp up anybody. He could clamp up LeBron Diamond, Pink Diamond, Will. I'm not even kidding. This card is so clamps. I'm going to go over the stats right now. First of all, he's not even a bad shooter. So that's number one. Number two, his he's great. He's decent on offense. Okay, the offense isn't the thing. Look at his defense. This defense is gorgeous. He's got 80s everywhere. On the defensive end, 85 block, 84 steal, 85 perimeter, interior D80. He is so clamps. He's a budget baller, probably about 2K right now. Go check him out. Try him out. He is absolutely amazing. Let's get into the next cards. We got a ton of cards in my premium collections that I'm going to go over. But yeah, man, that's a very good budget card. This Adrian Dantley's not bad. There's Mark Aguirre, bro. This card is great, too. He's literally 800 coins. Pretty much his budget card is going to be rubies or under. A lot of budget ballers. Why do I like Mark Aguirre? So, in 2K, I always like Mark Aguirre. Why? First of all, I always liked him. Even in 2K13, I had his gold card. He was a beast. Now, if you look at his post moves, this guy could go post. He is a small forward power forward. I like him at small forward. He's 6'6". So, now, post moves great. 96 and 95. So, you could back down anybody in the post and go off. His shooting is great. He's got great stats. He even could dunk. So, offensively, he's gorgeous. Let's check his defense. His defense is even all around. So another all around defensive stud with great offense. Um, he's great. He's just a great put in, plug and play. He's a pretty much a utility guy that you can have off your bench. Great, great, great defensive player. I love this card. He's literally 800 coins. Go try him out. His defense is great. He's even got nine gold badges to go with it. Here are the badges. Card is great. We're probably going to go over 10 budget cards, but that's the next one. We got in this set, Richard Hamilton isn't a bad budget card, but let's go into more sets. Pretty much, there's a lot of budget cards that I do like, and I'm going to go over every single one. This Tony Allen. This Tony Allen is gorgeous. Let's go over it. So, you know what? His shooting stats aren't the best, okay? I'm not going to say his shooting stats are amazing. His dunk's good. So, he's a dunker. He could shoot wide open. He's not going to miss. He's going to miss, but he's also going to make it wide open. But let's get into the defense. If you don't know Tony Allen, his perimeter D is absolute clamps. This guy is a budget baller. If you need him to clamp up like a 90-something, 90 95, 96 pink diamond shooting guard, put him there. He will clamp him up. That perimeter D and steel is going to do the job. And like honestly, out of all these diamond, amethyst, all these cards I got, no defense even compares to him. So he's got great stats. Nothing even compares to him. I'm just scrolling through fast. Defensive, amazing. Offense is decent. Defense, A+. plus. He's going to clamp people up. Um, let's see. We got moments of the week. There is a lot of budget baller moments of the week. And I'm going to go next up with Kelly Oubre. This card is so good. I played with him, actually. He actually dunked on Pink Diamond Wilt. And I was like, no, no way. That is possible. His dunk is great. His shooting's great. He's lanky. He's long. He's going to get steals. He's going to get blocks. Here are the stats. Great shooter. Great shooter. Dunk's even amazing. So... Offensive side, great. Let's check his defense. Defense, solid. Defensive stud. Amazing, amazing card. He could play small forward, power forward. Yo, I mean, this card is great. I love it. This is the third card that I'm going over. He even could pass. He's an all He's literally a budget Giannis in my books. He's a budget Giannis. He got the same dunk as Amethyst Giannis. So let's go over if he's a Giannis. There we go. Look at it. Same dunk. Let's compare him to Giannis. He's literally maybe even better than this Giannis card, which is kind of crazy. He's got better sh better shooting stats. He is smaller, a lot skinnier, but wow, man. This card is beast. He's comparable to Amethyst Giannis. That's kind of crazy. Try him out. I've tried him out. Very, very good card. Let's go. Next up. Oh. 
right here. Al Holford, budget beast. Why do I say this? The guy could do everything. He's so underrated in the league. He plays great in 2K, but I would not put him at center. He is a little small. Let's go over these stats. He's he's really cheap. I'll just check out his price for you guys real quick. He's super cheap. He's uh, around 7K. Eh, it's not that cheap, actually. I actually might sell him. Oh, I can't. I just did the collection. But yeah, here are the stats. So post moves great. Three-point great. Mid-range great. Dunking great. Like, offense, amazing. Let's go into the D. Now, blocks good and interior D. He is a solid power forward. Not the fastest guy. Let's check his speed. 53. He's not the fastest guy, but against Dirk, he's going to climb up Dirk. But nah, he's really good in the interior. I like him in the interior. I really like his post moves. I definitely give him a budget baller tryout. If you guys want to see some gameplay with these budget ballers, let me know. I'll drop some gameplay. Make sure to drop whatever in the comments. Um, Let me know what you guys want to see. So we got Mr. Al Horford. We also got Toby. Toby Harris. Let's check out his stats. He's cheap as well. Here we go. Three-point shot, mid-range shot, great. Post moves are doable, 70 and 70. He could, he could work in the post. Dunk kick's pretty solid, too. Passing solid. Here's his defense. Defense is decent. There's definitely better defensive players, but he's tall. He's going to play pretty solid at small with a 6'9". Um, height, pretty solid. I mean, I like him. His jump shot's money. I, I play with this card as well. He's pretty good. Let's get into the next one. That, let's go. Um, So, this card caught my eye offensively. Um, he is a offensive stud, so let's get into it. I didn't know he could dunk, all right? He is sitting at 6'2", ready, watch his dunk. Uh, 80 driving dunk at 6'2", so his threes at 89, his 84 mid, his layup's great. So his his offensive ability at, let's check his price, what is he, like 1K, if that? He's literally probably under 2, yeah, he's under 2K, probably 1,500, I would say. Card's great. Let's check out his, um... His badges, 17 gold badges. Now, here are the badges. I'll go over quick. He even has quick draw on Sapphire. This card is moolah for budget ballers. Would check him out. Definitely a beastly card. These moments of the week cards are filled with a ton of budget cards. Let me just go over. How can I forget? This Nick Young, he is a cheesehead. Let's go over the stats. Look at his three. Uh, he's dunk, 85 dunk. This card is a cheesehead. Let's check his defensive stats. Premier D79, eh, it could be better, but yo, this is a guy that you're going to want on your team. If you have like no MT and you need a budget baller, he's going to pull up from three from like half court to make it. He got rage extender, quick draw. He's the shooter you want for budget. I'm telling you right now, he's money. He's money in every year in 2K. He's always got a great release too. Try Nick Young out. Let's see what else we got in this set. That Steve Kerr's kind of budget. Eh, he's all right. Let's go over to spotlights. We got Steve Nash. Steve Nash's budget. Let's go over him. I mean, he's a little more expensive, but here are his stats. I'll go over the Ruby stats because literally, you literally just have to get 10 assists in one game and he's a Ruby. So you buy the Emerald, play one game of like, you can literally play single player triple threat and get 10 assists. It's so easy. Here are his stats for Ruby now. This card is solid. I like this card. Comparing him to Trey Young, it's not that off. It's really not that off. Um, Not only that, his defense is solid. Oh, wait, it's not. All right. You know what? He's decent. His offense is good. If you get him upgraded, his defense definitely goes up. His defense is a little iffy, but I would say he's a budget baller in my books. Karan Butler's always a budget baller. Antonio Walker, Antoine Walker. There's a ruby of him, so scratch that. Let me see. What else we got? We got Clyde. We got Drazen. Yes, this is a beautiful card. Let's compare him to my diamond. Literally rocking under 2K. This is a guy that's also a shooter. You're going to put him in. He's going to shoot the ball. He's going to make his shots. His diamond is my favorite card in the game. I'm so, I love him. He's a reward diamond. Comparing him to Diamond, it's not even that off. So it's kind of interesting. He's got the same dunking stats. Pretty much the same passing stats. Defense isn't that good. But, yo, Drazen is a shooter. Let's check out his quick draw. Does he have quick draw? That's the big thing right here. Does he have it? Does he, he doesn't have quick draw, which is kind of annoying. But he does have flexible release. He does have really good. He has green machine. He has all that good stuff. His card is pretty solid. There's a lot of solid cards. A lot of budget ballers. Kenny the Jet Smith's a budget baller. Uh, let's check it out. Honestly, I really like Jonathan Isaac. I love Jonathan Isaac. He is so good. Now, Shaq Daddy. Why? Why do I say Shaq Daddy? I matched him up with Pink Diamond Wilt. I versed Pink Diamond Wilt online five games in a row. This sounds crazy. I have Aris Gilmore Diamond. What did I do? I had Shaq on the bench. Like, I mean, it's a Sapphire. I have an all-diamond team with one Sapphire player, and it's Shaq. Why do I have Shaq? He's a beefy 
beast, bro. He is so big. I love it. He's so hard to score on. He's just amazing. It's Shaquille O'Neal. Forget the stats. Forget the stats. He's so good. I'm telling you right now. He is a beast. He catches lobs. His stats might not be the best. He can't shoot free throws, but I'm telling you right now, he's going to clamp up some really good centers. He is Shaquille O'Neal. He has to be good. But yeah, man. Other than that, there is a couple other budget ballers. Those are the ones that I would say are the best in the game right now. For sure. By, by far, those are the best budget ballers, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, man, if you guys want to see more budget ballers, let me know. Those budget ballers are solid in this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content, bro. It means a lot. Thank you for dropping the likes. Thank you for coming out. All that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Peace.